Uh, good morning, dear students. Uh, now we move to uh, discuss a short section uh, on the origins of uh, Greek philosophy, which you can find on page number uh, 90. The origins of the Greek philosophy on page number 90. Philosophy is a word invented by the ancient Greeks, most likely by Pythagoras. Pythagoras preceded uh, Socrates. He was a great philosopher and mathematician at the same time. Pythagoras in the late 6th century BCE. Before the time of Pythagoras, there was a lively tradition. Before the time in which, uh, you know, uh, the word philosophy itself was invented, its concept being practiced by philosophers, there was a lively tradition shared with other literate cultures around the Mediterranean. What does this lively tradition consist of? Of collections. You can find that line number six, okay? Of collections of wisdom literature. So before, before philosophy, there was a lively tradition known as wisdom literature or adab al-hikmah or in Latin, Sophia. The word Sophia, uh, this Greek word, it means al-hikmah. In Greece, lessons were made of outstanding contributors to such collections, outstanding philosophers of this tradition, or practitioners, that is, of wise people, or sophoi. So people who practice philosophy this lively tradition were called Sophoi, or wise people. The story goes that when Leon of Phleus, Leon was a tyrant king, was a tyrant king, Malik Tagir, of a Greek city-state. You know that there were many city-states of Greece at the time. So Leon was a, a tyrant king of Phleus, and Phleus was a Greek city-state. When that king, when that tyrant asked Pythagoras what he was, he replied, a philosopher, or a philosopher. It means, this Latin word, this Greek word means, a lover of, or seeker for wisdom. يعني محب أو باحث عن الحكمة. So this word, this word which we know in nowadays, okay, which we call philosophy, it means love of wisdom, the love of wisdom, or the search for wisdom. Uh, to the extent that an ancient Greek invented the word, this Close means if we believe that, to the extent that means if we believe that. An ancient Greek invented the word philosophy. Philosophy is an ancient Greek invention. And we can trace the history of those who call themselves, or were called by others in their culture, philosophoi. Okay, so the singular form of uh, of philosophers, of philosophers is philosophoi. The plural, the plural form, and the sigat al min philosophers is uh, philosophoi. Certainly, the ancient Greeks recognized that many of their ideas, and by the word recognized, I mean uh, admitted. They admitted that many of their ideas and practices came from other neighboring cultures. And these cultures, by the way, had even older civilizations before that of the Greece itself, such as Egypt, Persia, and Babylon. Thus, for us, ancient Greek philosophy is a part of a much larger history the history of human thought, human knowledge, human philosophy, about the most fundamental and intractable 
intractable questions. Intractable questions, difficult, very difficult questions that people attempt to resolve or to answer. Next page, page number 91. The ancient Greeks learned to write. This is just a mere a clue or a mere uh, evidence that before Greek civilization, there were, there were other great civilizations from which the Greeks derived most of their teachings and philosophies. The ancient Greeks learned to write using characters borrowed from the Phoenicians. They just an example. So the Greeks borrowed their writing system from the Phoenicians. Who are the Phoenicians? The Phoenicians are the people of the Mediterranean civilization. The Phoenicians are the people of the Mediterranean civilization. Al Hadara al Phoeniqiya. Hadara al al Bahr al Mutasid. And those people include uh, the people of Lebanese, Syria, and Palestine. About 750. BCE. The Homeric epics, such as the Iliad and the Odyssey, Al Iliada, Wa Al Odyssa, Li Homer, or Homerus, passed down orally for centuries, were written down probably before 700 BCE, so before the Greek civilization. Hesiod, author of the poems Birth of the Gods and Works and Days. Hesiod was a Greek poet of the 8th century BC. Hesiod was a Greek poet of the 8th. He lived during the 8th century BC. So before the invention of this concept, this word philosophy. And he uh, wrote... Poems uh, entitled Birth of the Gods and Works and Days. He was working shortly after 700 BC. We have fragments, other, other examples. We have fragments or individual short poems written by poets over the next 150 years, such as Sapu, <clears throat> Alcaeus, and Solon. All of these, the three poets, were Greek poets of the 6th century, of the 6th century BC. So before the Greek civilization before the invention of this word this concept there were other older practices and traditions uh, thank you and see you soon inshallah in another lecture